y'all welcome back to another video i hope you guys are doing well and you are enjoying your day or whatever i want to thank boohoo so much for sponsoring this video okay so we're going to get into a little haul before the vlog and don't forget all items are going to be linked in the description below so let's go ahead and get into it y'all it's gonna be so cute okay y'all so i know you've seen so many things about barbie y'all know the barbie movie is already out it came out on the 21st so by the time y'all are seeing this it is already out and you are able to go and look at it in the movies and i hope you guys enjoyed it but boohoo has come out with a collection for the barbie movie and I, it, like all of the people that were so into Barbie and you just had to have her, these are some of the things that I think you'd probably be interested in. If you were a big Barbie fanatic when you were younger or your kids are, these are some things that you may like. So this is an oversized, emphasis on oversized, this is an oversized sweat suit with shorts, top set or whatever. But basically it's a hoodie here and you see you got Barbies, nice glitter everywhere nice glitter head side shot everywhere on the set and then you got these nice shorts and i just have them with some socks and slippers because it's like a cute little in the house set or if you want to like dress it up for out the house you can do it like that but yeah i got my normal size for boohoo which is a size 22 because their stuff usually runs a little larger on me anyway so i got the 22 size but since this is oversized if you want it more fitted i would size down one or two sizes if you want something more fitted but again everything that's still in stock is going to be linked in the description below and even if it's out of stock if they still have like a link online i'm gonna make sure i link it because a lot of times boohoo refreshes and restocks a lot of their items so yeah this is this is isn't it cute and it has pockets the shorts have pockets i got it with my nice little house socks and shoes and it's just so cute and i like the oversizedness of it it is rather large if you want something fitted. Again, size down twice with the top. I think I just got a normal size 22 with this, uh, the shorts. I don't think the shorts are oversized really. But yeah, the, the hoodie is oversized. So definitely size down a couple of times with that if you want it not so big. So let me show you what else I got. All right, for all the girls out there that love pink, this is a pink option of the set, a lounge set that you can wear in the house. This one is not a hoodie, it is an oversized pull over so cute and you can see the barbie here hi barbie hi barbie hi barbie so so cute again this is an oversized top the shorts aren't oversized to me i got the shorts in a size 22 and i got the top in a size 22 like i normally get um if you want the top to be fitted in this oversized then definitely size down a couple of sizes like i say um but yeah such a cute set and it can actually cover the booty. So like we're kind of about to head into fall in a little bit and maybe fall hits your state faster than it hit my state. But yeah, this is something cute to lounge in or something that you can wear outside and kind of dress it up, dress it down if you want to. Just a nice cute set if you are a huge Barbie fan. So these will be in the description. All right, let's go to the next one. Okay, y'all, here is an oversized lounge set as well. It got the nice hoodie. Now, first of all, black barbie come through you got your black barbie here 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 and here and here representation hello and i am black plus size barbie hello so i we took this in under my bra and then now it's kind of like a crop top in the front so cute and then um just kind of like wide leg oversized pants and so it's just a cute lounge set this is a hoodie by the way and then if you want it still drapes long in the back so it's like kind of over the booty a little bit but like if you want you can wear it with your dunks or any other type of tennis shoes especially when it gets cooler but um kind of tucking it in like this really does help fit the waist um and like kind of show off the waist since this is more of a baggy oversized look um you can kind of show this off a little bit and kind of give it more some shape and i think this is a size 20 because it's oversized so this is a size 20 and this is a size 22 because i didn't know that it was gonna be i didn't see the oversized part when i got it but it still works especially tucked under the bra to kind of give it cropped in the front so cute right and i love how it hits me like on the hip i have it kind of tight here around the waist and then it just kind of bellows out and it just fits very well looks cute nice little lounge set 
Now I'm ready for it to get cold or whatever because I will rock this black Barbie hoodie. You hear me? Okay, y'all, so here is the Barbie tank slightly crop top and I just styled it so you guys can see the different options um, or just how it looks styled I guess but yeah just have it with some skinny jeans and these um, shoes that I got from Amazon and yeah you can style it up like this you can actually do a wider leg pant if you want you can do some slides with this if you want you can um, wear it with a pant pants that are like more fitted and they just kind of bellow out like yeah different styles on how you can, um, or different options rather, on how you can actually style this top. It's so simple, you can use it in every day. But such a cute tank, right? And it stretches. Not sure um, how it will feel out throughout the day because this is actually my first time trying it on. But it is really cute and I love where it hits um, if for a crop top. You know, if y'all are trying to get more into crops and if you're like, I want to get into crops but I kind of don't know really how to wear them that much, then put a crop with a high waist pant. So that way you kind of get the feel of it a little bit more but if you're feeling self-conscious, you have the ability to kind of conceal with the higher waist pants. Um, higher waist, wide leg pants probably be the best. But yeah, y'all, so cute, right? I was trying to emphasize the nice um, silver Barbie name with these silver shoes. Ow. Okay, let's go to the next outfit. <laughs> okay guys, here goes the next item from Boohoo, a part of the Barbie collaboration. Got this cute Barbie shirt. You got the two Barbies together. Hey girl, y'all are looking so cute. They got their shades on, so I put my shades on and I just gave you a styling option here. I have on this nice um, skirt with a pleat to show a little thigh and then some like wrap around the ankle he uh sandals so yeah like just a cute option got my hair up you know black barbie in here thriving with her hair bl uh, blowing in the wind so i'm gonna go ahead and put my hair up i thought this was so cute and it is cropped so i just have it tucked a little bit in there but this is where it ends so it is uh, a lot of their plus size tops were cropped because barbie had a lot of crop tops, right? She went away out here wearing like bellow, <laughs> bellowing uh, hem or hems that come long, you know, so it's what she wears. She's confident, she's doing the thing. So this is exactly how I styled it. Very cute, got something on that can kind of put some nice uh, cinching at the waist, but still kind of lay over the belly and not cup it. So yeah, super, super cute. And I have one more outfit for you guys to check out. And then we will be wrapping up the Barbie haul. Okay, last outfit is this Barbie t-shirt. So if you're not into the glitz and glam and you just want a simple um, crop tee, then you have this option. It is fitted. I think this is a size 22. So if you want it a, like a more baggier instead of like a bra fit, <laughs> you want a more baggier or loose fit, then definitely get your normal size so that it can be um, a bit more loose on you. So I have them on, I have this top on with some wide leg pants. So just so you can see, this is the type of pants I was talking about wearing if you are not comfortable with crop tops and you just kind of want to try them out but you just want to still have some concealing going on just in case you may not be fully comfortable. This is what I was talking about because the pants come up super high. So you can get wide leg pants and I'll probably have some more linked for you in the description from Boohoo as well. So I have these um, parachute style kind of wide leg pants and then I just have on some sneakers and yeah, that is this outfit. Okay, so I hope you guys enjoyed this um, entire Boohoo and Barbie collaboration. There's so much more online so I'll be sure to link the actual collaboration page so you want to check some other stuff out if there were some things you just want to kind of see because you know your daughter's going to want some you know you may want some because you were rocking Barbie all the time when you were younger and you just want to like check out some of the outfits that they have on there or the items that they have on there I'll have it linked in the description below so definitely check it out on Boohoo thanks again Boohoo for sponsoring this video now guys we're going to go ahead and get into the vlog so I hope you guys enjoyed this haul talk to you soon bye
Y'all, today was a long one. I took the best Sunday nap. I don't even care. I think I got back from church. Well, no, I got back from church. I had some wings because me and wings go together. Like I had my mindset on some wings that I tried this weekend, some Cajun wings from this place that I tried for the first time this weekend. I was like, oh, I'm gonna go back there and get some wings, girl. Why they close on Sundays? Why are y'all Chick-fil-A? Where am I eat? Where am I eat? Girl, so I had to make do and go to a different wing place. Wings were still hidden. So I ate and then took like a four hour nap. That was the best nap, girl. Cause I, last night I only had three hours of sleep before having to get up to go to church because I was out. Y'all know I don't get out. I was out, y'all I was out. I didn't like go out and party. I was out with a friend and girl, by the time I made it back, I think I went to bed at like almost three and I had to get up at 6.30 to like start, you know, getting ready for church. Good. Y'all know that's not me. That's not my personality. I stays my behind in the house on a regular, but I did get out a little bit. So I'm trying to do a little more, you know, a little razzle dazzle, a little, little spontaneity or whatever. So yeah, all of that to say, I slept good after I got back from church. She had a good message. Um, and I'm glad I go to the 8.30 service because I be tired. And I wanna get God out early, you know what I'm saying? So I can come back and take a good nap and just do nothing on Sunday. So actually I took that long nap, overslept because I was supposed to be at my photographer's house between 3.30 and four, cause she just had a birthday on the 13th and I wanted to drop off her gift. We got some, me and Bean got her some stuff from Bath and Body Works. She likes a lot of scents there. She doesn't like, like she's kind of close to me. She likes more than I do, honestly. I'm, I'm a bit more strict with the scents that I like. But she actually liked teakwood a lot. So we got her a couple teakwood candles. Uh, no, we got her teakwood candle and another candle from like the, I don't know what this line is. And of course I had to give me some things because <laughs> who goes to bed? No, not Bed Bath & Beyond. Who else does that called Bed Bath & Beyond? Or no, called Bath & Body Works, Bed Bath & Beyond. But who goes to Bath & Body Works and doesn't get them anything? I don't know what this like, this collection is. This more aesthetic-y kind of look. I don't know what that collection is called at Bath & Body Works, but. Anywho, they were having a, a sale on the three-wood candles for like $10 off. Y'all know the candles are like, I wanna say 26 or, yeah, 26.95. So $10 off, 16.95. Say less, sis. So I got like four candles for me. I got Lois, my photographer, two candles. And then Justine got herself some candles. And I wanna say, oh, I got a new wall plug because the wall plug that I have from Bath and Body Works a while ago, it doesn't like bring out a lot of scents for some reason. Like I, I can barely smell the fragrance that I put in there, the uh, wall scent. I think it's what it's called. Oh, a room center, whatever. I don't know. But so I got another one and I think it's working a lot better. I got one that's similar to the ones that I have in the living room and the dining room. And it has like the little dial on the side based on how much fragrance you want to release or you want it to burn. Um, so yeah, I have that one and it smells good so far. So we're up on that. These are the candles I got myself. So this is my, I want to call it my signature fragrance because it smells like laundry and i feel like that's my personality smelling like laundry <laughs> and it's all speaking of hold on let me like this candle Okay, y'all, so I'm very much aware that I did not just have to do that. But as soon as I thought of, uh, thought about and started talking about this scent, I was like, oh, we have her out on the counter, uh, on the coffee table right now. Let's light her so the house can be smelling good. Okay, but yeah, this is what has my house smell like pure laundry. And that is the fragrance. It is sun drenched linen. And I get a lot of these candles and I also get a lot of the wall scents. I keep wanna say, I think it's wallflower. Girl, the oil that you burn in the walls. <laughs> so I got two of these 
um, because y'all are on sale, so I might as well. And I usually like to have my candles burnt. Like when I light them, I'll have them burning all day. <clears throat> so I'll get probably, I'll say maybe five uses up to the uh, of them because I lately haven't been burning them a lot. I don't really know why. I just haven't. I kind of know why actually, because I need to get another lighter. The lighter I've been using is from Amazon. Let me show you her. Ow. Yeah, so it's the, girl, I don't know how to pronounce this. It's this lighter. It's like a little electrical lighter that's supposed to put off like a little current or whatever. But see how it does? Like it smokes because it's so much caked up on the inside of this. And I don't know how to clean it. It's so, I'm like, ugh. And then I don't wanna have to go through that. Every time I wanna like light something, all of this, I guess, the burnt wick kind of rubs off on the side of this when it has that little like electric light thing that comes up when it's lighting the, the wick. And it just cakes up on the side and then now it's blocking the thing from creating a nice little current so it can light the candles. So I'm just like, I'm gonna just get another one. So right now I'm using the old school like lighter lighters. But yes, I think it might be why I don't just like think about. Any slight inconvenience will take me <laughs> right out of my routine it's, like, it's not good actually <laughs> but yeah that's um that's probably why but yeah anyways i got two of these and then this is that aesthetic -y, um candle line that they've come out with where it's like a bunch of different scents and i really again don't know what the uh i guess this is white barn oh this is white barn okay the other bath and body works brand that's a bit more aesthetic. I don't know what the full difference of White Barn is to, I just know when I walk in there, it's like more moody. You have, like I said, all the different aesthetics and then the candles all have that, you know, minimalistic, more decorative feel. Mm, and this smells so good. It's the, hold on, let me show y'all, my bad. Start to smell. Uh, dark, amber, and oud, I guess. Um, smells clean, because that's my thing, she said. I don't know tones, hints, nothing. Dark, golden, amber, fresh rainwater, and oud wood. I smell a little wood. <laughs> I'm not a good scent identifier. Outside, I just be like, I like it and it smells clean. But the, yeah, this this actually really goes really well with the whole decor in the living room. So we got it. Um, and I got this, oh, what is this? Okay, this is a Bath and Body Works fragrance. It is patchouli and rosewood. Very different because patchouli smells a bit sweet. And I do not like sweet scents because they make me feel nauseous. But this one has a hint of like, it has a, it's like a, like 50% sweet, 50% fresh. So it kind of cancels it out. It doesn't smell like straight vanilla. Cause I don't really like the scent of vanilla like that. Mm-hmm. It's, uh, it's almost a bit nutty. Mm. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, it's almost a bit nutty, but a hint of fresh and a hint of sweet. So yeah, it's, it's kind of nice. I like that. So I'll probably, this probably do well in my bedroom. It goes with the decor, but I'm just talking about the fragrance itself will probably do a bit well in my bedroom because it's more of a warm feeling when I go in there. I'll be about ready to like relax, read in my reading chair, all the things. And now I have to look up something for shampooing my uh, chair because now I'm noticing I did the little spray thing and I think like over time you have to keep, I think you have to do it so often. I need to do it again. Um, but I don't think that protects it from all fabrics. And that's what I wanted to make sure that it does. And it doesn't, it, then again, it wears off over time. So you gotta keep spraying it. So I think I need to shampoo it just to make sure. I don't, it doesn't, you can't just look at it and tell that it needs to be shampooed. But I have been staring at it and I've been trying to see if it needs to be. So I eventually saw this morning, I was like, looking at like one little spot that I can kind of tell the difference in shade. So I was like, okay, well, I need to kind of protect that until I find a easy way to shampoo that chair, like 
consistently um, after using it maybe for like 60 days, maybe shampoo it and just make sure it's kind of good and then spray it again and have it cur curate for about 24 hours. So yeah, that's that. Um, have gotten quite a bit of packages from the Amazon because Prime Day, hello. And I have been trying to redo my bedding because I want it to be a bit warmer right now. I think I told you guys like, oh my God, I'm so excited. Okay, I told y'all. <laughs> I told y'all I want it to be more plush, right? So I got another duvet insert. <laughs> so I'm gonna double the duvet insert. Um, and it's the weekend, so it's time for me to change sheets. And I have several um, sets of sheets, so I don't have to like take the sheets off, wash them, wait for them to dry, and then change the sheets though. I can take the sheets off, put them in the, the you need to wash this pile <laughs> that I have in my laundry room and just change the sheets out of the sheet drawer that I have in my closet. So <clears throat> I'm gonna change the sheets today. I got some new Euro shams um, because I wanted to change my shams from that, what is it? It's like a cream, which is very, it's not bland, it's, it's, I think it's good. It's just lately it's been feeling bland to me because I wanna put more warm tones at the top of the bed and then I want it to be more cushiony. So duvet insert, I got another one of that, one, another one of those, I think it was like 19 bucks or something like that, but it had like 107,000 reviews and it's four and a half stars, so <laughs> say this is. I got that and then I got the, dark, the black velvet Euro shams and I have four Euro pillows right now, but I only want three. So I'm gonna have to find out what I'm gonna do with the fourth one. Um, Bean was telling me I can put the extra pillows in the guest bedroom. I don't know, like I, the guest room, bedroom isn't done. So like I don't have a seat where the Euro pillow can sit and it just looks like everything goes. Um, so I'll probably just like vacuum pack it or something like that and put it at the top of the closet until I have use for it. So shout out to the Amazon vacuum pack. I'm gonna put my storefront in the description so that y'all can just check out all the stuff I've been buying from there. Cause the stuff is very useful. Like, like Amazon be coming in, like the travel stuff I have, like the travel steamer and that, that vacuum pack. I got that when we traveled to New York uh, during fashion week this February, this past February. That vacuum pack is gonna come in handy. So especially now I need to actually kind of work on my closet because I see my drawers are kind of getting out of hand and a little disheveled or besheveled, one of those. <laughs> um, it's getting a little out of there, out of hand. So I need to kind of update that. And I kind of wanted to reorganize my shoes because boot season ain't that frequent around here, but when it is, you know, it's, it, I get hype about it. However, I need, I don't wear my boots that often. I kind of wanted like two shelves of boots and then two shelves of tennis shoes and then, you know, sandals and then heels at the bottom. Cause I don't be wearing heels all the time either. Let me get the Amazon stuff. Hold on. Wait a minute. Oh my Jesus. Oh. Oh. One trip without trying. Okay. Oh. oh my goodness. Okay. <laughs> All right. Unboxing time. I had it moody in here. <laughs> All right, we're back. Okay, first things first, I pop them. Okay, so here is a lumbar pillow, actually two lumbar pillow pillowcases. Lumbar pillow pillowcases. Lumbar, lumbar, lumbar pillowcases that I got right here. My buy-in but not reading behind buys the pillowcases and forgets that I don't have the pillows to put them over. So <laughs> I'm gonna have to get some pillows um, for these because I want this to be at the front of the Euro pillows that I'm going to, going to be using. So it has like the nice leathery cognac, cognac uh, middle and it's like just cream. So I want it again more of like, I like the cream, I like the beiges and stuff like that, that I wanted to kind of do warmer tones in my bedroom, but I also wanted to do deeper tones, like 
the the brown picture that's on my wall and then the then some black and then like this cognac and then the you know the blanket that's on you know something to kind of bring in more warm things now i don't know how these shades gonna work out but we're gonna see so i got two i was thinking one on the bed one on the one on the bed one on the um chair the reading chair and work that out and then i can change out the pillowcases for like different seasons so you know when fall comes in i could probably change it to back to the yellow lumbar pillows that that's there now so yeah i got a little plan on that i just gotta get some i gotta get another pillow for these but we're not putting this back in the package okay got a box Shoved up coop it a lot shout out to my neighbors for getting me this because i would not have this box opener had they not had my neighbor not given me a toolkit as like a housewarming gift it's so cool get you some good neighbors that's all this is a basket that i got for the pantry i wanted to get a whole bunch of stuff for the pantry but i started spending a lot of money and i didn't want to spend a lot of money so i just stopped and then i <laughs> i actually need to try this out and see how i liked it because I wanted like two oversized bas baskets for like overstock stuff, like paper goods. Cause you know, I do plastic knives and forks, plastic cutlery sometimes and paper plates and stuff like that and plastic cups sometimes. And I don't want that to be in the normal flow of what's in the pantry. I kind of want something like a system for that. Okay, oh. And I wanted something square. I think this is round. So we'll see how I like it. All right. Okay, yeah, this is the size of it. It's not like full out, I guess. It's not like fully shaped out. Kind of has like a weird look because of how I'm holding it. And oh, oh girl. It looks nice. I guess I can show you guys on the, I thought it would have more black, honestly. But I think it's a good oversized, um, let me show you. I think it's a good like oversized, for reference, here's me. I think it's a good like oversized, you know, a little razzle dazzle, got some handles. So I'm gonna see how it fits in one and then start using it. And if I like it, I'll get another one if I need it. Um, but I kinda do, I kinda did want two, so. Yeah, I'll work that out. Work that out so I'm proper like. Okay, package number tres. Oh my velvet gyro shams, yes. Yeah, I already have the Euro pillows. Um, and so this was good. You can kind of see the finish a little bit. You see that? Ow. <laughs> okay, so this would look good on the back of my headboard. So it's not that beige on light gray and it's kind of like muted. It's just so there's no depth, no no character. I need a little change, you know what I'm saying? So I got four, because they come in a pack of two. And I'm going to wash these and put them on pillows like i'm already in my bed now honestly i'm probably just going to wash these pillow, pillow shams wash the duvet insert and when i make up my bed in the morning because i'm not going to make up my bed now just to do because i've been in it all day like when I'm, i make up my bed in the morning i'll probably just change the sheets and um put everything on that i washed change everything out and set up the bed so that it can look good. Okay, so that's that one. Let's see what else I got. Cause I actually forgot, girl. I was doing so much shopping on Amazon Prime. I think I did like five orders. And I was trying to hurry up and like buy certain things. Cause so some orders have like maybe one or two items in it. <laughs> Look, I was trying to hurry up and get stuff before I missed out on claiming that deal. Cause you know, on Prime, after so many deals are claimed, they won't allow you to claim the deal at that extreme reduced price until I learned this, this time, because I usually just, I usually don't care about shopping prime. Now I kind of get it and I kind of probably am gonna be doing that every single time I get a chance. I'm probably gonna like wait till prime comes around to, girl, what is this? Oh, I bought, I did buy shades. <laughs> girl, you buy so much and you like, what? What is this? <laughs> oh man, what are these shades? Okay, all right. I don't remember what these are the dupes of. I know um, Justine did say she had these. I'd already purchased them. Um, when I found out that these were the ones that she had. 
So let's see if they look good on me because I have a round face and some shapes just don't look good on me. Like especially more extravagant than just square and round. And this is that. So let me see. What y'all think? I can't tell. Shades, I can't ever tell how it looks on me when I put the shades on because I have on shades and I can't see. I can see, but I can't see like, I mean, it goes with my head. That's nice. Hold on. Mm. Okay, they look, they do feel weighty. They feel sturdy. They feel thick, not like in bad thick, but like thick in quality. You know how you get something that's cheap and it feels like, very thin and not like sturdy and durable. This feels durable and it actually look good on. Okay, listen, okay. I kind of like them. I like the points. I thought that would be a bit too much for it. Yeah, I thought this, it would be the thing that's too much for the shape of my head. Cause I have like a roundy, ovally head. Like I got a big water head. So I thought, I thought it would be like too much, but they actually look kind of good. And they feel, let me see. Mm -hmm, I like them. Like I don't keep up with designers like that. That's just not my thing. Um, I probably like when I actually care about buying it, we'll probably get into it. But right now I don't really care about buying it because I ain't got the money to be buying designer like that. Only when I feel like buying it actually. Like, I'm not just out here buying designer all willy nilly. Like I'm the person that's like, oh, I want that. I'll get it in a month. <laughs> um, okay, I don't know how this was in here. So I'm just gonna put it in. I'm glad it comes with a case and a wiper and everything else. I like that, that's cute. I completely forgot about that. Alrighty, next package. I have no idea. Oh, I bought a dress, guys. I got a dress with some cutouts. I think it was a, see, this is the thing. I've been getting a lot of dresses that require a strapless bra, thankfully, because of Christine, Miss Christine from Trendy Curvy. Thankfully, she posted that hack, that bra hack, because otherwise, I'd be like, getting all these dresses I like and be like, girl, where are you? Like where, where are you going to wear this because you don't have a strapless bra. So now I got a good strapless bra and I want to get another one that's black because the one that I have is also from Amazon and it's also in my storefront. Um, that one is like beige and I'm not beige. <laughs> I would like to have like a nude or black bra because that's just what I like to wear undergarment wise. Um, so I did get a dress from them um, and all of that stuff is going to be linked in the storefront. So you got the two cutouts like here, like, like that, right like so. So yeah, that is nice. I'll probably do an actual like reel or uh, TikTok or something like that on this dress later on. So I won't show it to you much now because I'll probably do some short form content on it. Oh girl, I got one more thing down here that I completely forgot, hold on. I don't have no energy for this package, hold on. I cannot wait to double up these inserts because I heard that gives you that hotel bedding look. Yeah, so excited. Ooh, it's nice and plush. But yeah, it feels good. Oh yeah, let's go. <laughs> the bed is about to be just amazing. I'm so excited. It feels, it has that, uh, it's like a down-ish fluffiness. So I can like, tumble dry this on whatever i'm gonna put this in the washing machine tonight because it's gonna be so good oh, i'm so excited okay 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 now let's put stuff away because i got a lot going on <laughs>
Okay, so I've tried to do a little work on the shoes. So when I was talking earlier about I only wanted two shelves for boots, I actually forgot what I have. I <laughs> forgot how high this is. So I have a lot of boots and I actually don't think I wear a lot of them. So I'm gonna see what I wear, like this brown one I haven't worn in a long time. These I haven't worn in a long time and those I haven't worn in a long time. Um, I usually navigate, what is that? Yeah, I usually navigate to those two on the end and then like the top boots and then maybe these over here. Um, I don't think I've worn these in a long time. I like those, wear those quite often. Um, and these, I don't think I've worn once, but I really like them. So I'm gonna see what I wear if the winter that we have this year is actually wintering. I'm gonna see what I wear this winter and if I don't wear like, the ones that I pointed out that I usually don't wear if I don't if I don't navigate to those this winter then I'm probably gonna like sell them or give them away I'm probably gonna give them away selling is like turning out to be a lot um so yeah I actually now have three shelves of boots and then you see this random Amazon platform heel back there because <laughs> I don't have um I guess that could be in the heel section actually because I have space back there um, so I can probably move that but anyways that's what we're looking like now um I gotta go through tennis shoes too so I don't I like those are my workout shoes over there the black ones I wear these quite often the front row they're my favorites I love these um Adida ultra something I forgot what they're called but I love them but they get so dirty so I need to like clean them and see if they're like worth the hassle to me um and then these I just haven't worn in such a long time. These like Nikes. I just haven't worn them in a long time. I usually would work out in them. But once I started using the Adidas over there, I just kind of shifted. Because they're so much easier to put on. Um, I just kind of shifted to those. So, yeah. That's my shoes. These are some shoes. And it's what's annoying is this. Like, this space. <laughs> like, if I scoot it all up, because my shoes are so... Because I have big feet... I can't like put two pair of shoes this way. You know what I'm saying? Like I, it just looks so clust cluttered. I don't know. So I'm going to have to work with it a little bit. So, and eventually I do want to get like more shoes like this chunky shoes that I wear, tennis shoes that I wear often and like make room for them and give some of this other stuff away that I'm not wearing. So sandal wise, there are quite a bit of sandals that I haven't worn lately. And it's good to have everything out so that I can see them. That's kind of what I wanted to do with just adjusting these shoes. It's like, let me put things in a way where I can see them a bit better. Um, so I can just pull out things like this. I just kind of doubled up and put in one line like that. Like these, I automatically know I'm going to be giving these away. Because I always wear these in place of those. Those are from Walmart, but they don't feel as comfortable as these. These are from Tort. Um, so yeah, these are my favorites. <laughs> um, but yeah, like some of these other things that I don't like, I've never worn those. Got them when we were in Palm Springs, only wore them probably in the airport or to the airport or something like that. Girl, I've never really worn those. Um, and I haven't worn these often either, and I just but I just don't see them, so I just need to put stuff where I can see them. Um, and I know there are some heels that I probably will need to give away because I don't wear them often either. So yeah, just kind of try to touch up the shoes a bit and we will see how we will deal with them along the years. I can get more organization because eventually I'm gonna have to do something with that. I'm gonna have to move all of the bags that I have behind this wall. <laughs> so many bags on one shelf behind this wall or two rather, two, one and a half. And I need to like utilize more of this space up here. So we're gonna get to it.
All right, so we are back. I actually just got back from brunch with Shay. I actually didn't show her because I just try to, you know, get a little bit of respect in people's privacy. But yeah, Shay Sweeney, I used to work with her husband all the time because he's a photographer and they all they both have a studio. So um, yeah, and she is also an influencer, a petite influencer. So if you are interested and need someone to follow to kind of help with petite clothes, Shay Sweeney is a good option. It's Shay Monet, I think, on Instagram. Um, so yeah, girl, back at the house. Just got finished doing a little bit of work. And now I'm trying to like close out the day, but I forgot that I need to make up my bed because I see I was gonna do that this morning and I actually ran out of time. And plus I wanted to like refluff the duvet. And then I was like, is it even okay that I am washing the duvet, not duvet, uh, the duvet insert. I was like, is it even okay to be washing this since it's down and you know, I have a smaller washing machine. It doesn't seem like it was, bad so let me show you i just kind of have it laying out i've already washed it and everything but it doesn't look like it turned out bad or anything so now i'm going to um just kind of separate the fluffage i'm going going to remake the bed change the sheets and get everything going have the euro shams here i'm gonna change those out and i don't have the long bar pillow but i'll try to set up kind of what I have and see how that goes. Oh, now I remember where my other silk pillowcases are. On the other pillows. <laughs> Girl, I got these, not silk, but satin pillowcases from Walmart. And I was like, where are the second pillowcases? And I was looking up and down them because I had two pair so that I didn't have to like, like one is already washed and then I could put that on and then I put the other one in the laundry and so that can be getting done. You know what I'm saying? When I switch it out, I don't have to have that lag of switching out the uh, the pillowcases. Girl, I forgot cotton picking pillowcases are on the other pillows. <laughs> I put them actually above um, in my closet. So I'm gonna bring them out and then stack these on top of them. And they are, um, I think they're King Standard, similar to King Standard. They're not as long as these and those pillow, uh, these pillows I actually got from Amazon. They're in my storefront as well. And I'm gonna add this duvet insert and then the duvet. Sheets are from Walmart, all the things. So let me get started on revamping this bed and see how I like it, if I like it, how it goes. I don't know, let's see. Okay, y'all, so it makes absolutely no sense as to why it took me over an hour to make this bed. I was having such a problem with both of these um, duvet inserts that I was like trying to turn it, you know how you like roll it and then put the corners in and then unroll it? Well, I only tied the ends toward the foot of the bed and not the head, so it was all uneven and then this girl, it took way too long and I'm noticing, which I already had a feeling, but I was gonna try to see if I'm, I can finagle it and make it work. But I'm gonna have to take both of these inserts in this duvet and put it on my guest bed, which is a queen because it's bigger, my mattresses are thicker and I have on both beds had like a half um, with box spring underneath it um, or box frame or something like that underneath it. Um, so you can see a little bit of the mattress underneath the 
cover um, underneath the duvet. Like it doesn't, the cover doesn't meet the actual bed frame, if that makes sense, or at least go over it a little bit so that you can't see the mattress on both beds. So I'm gonna have to get Kings for the queen size and then a California King for the king size to make sure that um, compensate for my thicker mattresses because both of my mattresses are very thick. Um, and you can see the bed or whatever. And I have like that box spring underneath because I didn't want to like have extra protection over the planks that's on the bed frame. So, and I like my bed a little higher. So I'm gonna show y'all what it looked like. I already know I'm gonna change some things. So just be aware. So I, it is fluffy or whatever. So I think the next one, I don't know if I need to wash it because it's getting like these lumps and I've been trying to like rub them out. But um, just washing my duvet. But I was thinking like, factory and warehouse can seep through my duvet <laughs> so i was like let me wash the insert or take it to the cleaners but i like don't want to go to the cleaners it's just a lot of adulting that i don't want to do but anyways got that finally squared out and this is what i'm saying like you see how it doesn't meet the frame of the bed and it's like that on both sides um, so, but the color scan, I just put these Walmart pillows back up there because like I said, I don't have the long bar pillow to add that cream, um, cover and the cognac center that's in that, on that case. But I do really love these velvet Euro shams. It looks really nice. And I kind of like this setup a little better. It's not as clunky. I was going to have like these back here laying flat and then these in front, but, um, yeah and then now you see more pops of black but then now i need more over there you know like you have the black right here but i kind of need some more on top and then you know maybe when i eventually do get some curtains have some kind of black accent there i was thinking about changing out the shades to black because i found some on amazon that i like but yeah i don't know i have to incorporate some of this chocolate in here or something to kind of pull stuff together girl i'll get it together at one point <laughs> at some point i'm gonna get it together but uh we'll see how both of these feel when i go to sleep like both of these inserts being in this duvet we'll see how that feels when i go to sleep and if i don't get too hot um yeah because the first and like i don't know why i doubled it up because the first one is so flat it's almost non-existent hello so the second one the newer one is really doing all the work but yeah this is where we're left off. Hopefully we get some order sometime soon, eventually. I don't know. We shall see. <laughs>